Welcome to Copy with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. Today's devotion, say yes and mean it. Nehemiah 10, 29. They solemnly promised to carefully follow all the commands, regulations, and decrees of the of the Lord of Lord of the Lord our Lord. It was pro, it was a promise that would be broken. The people of God believed they could follow the commands, regulations, and decrees of God. They were willing to recognize Him as Lord. But long after Jerusalem's wall was rebuilt and the people settled into daily living, the promise became less remembered. The praise faded. Worship came to a halt. God's law became suggestions instead of commands. You or someone you know may have made a promise to God in the midst of desperation. Living for God seemed the best choice. If God could take you from a no-win situation to a place that made sense, then following him seemed a great choice. But once the desperation diminished, the promise faded into compromise. A solemn promise only means something when God makes it. Humans routinely take oaths and break them. Maybe that's why God said to forget oaths and simply say yes and mean it or say no with similar conviction. God endures your inability to fulfill your promises. He just wants you to keep turning in his direction every time you fail to live up to your promise to follow his command. Jesus, I don't know anyone who hasn't turned his back on a promise. I want to live up to my promises, but I fail. May I make my choice to follow you with a daily yes and mean it. In your holy name, Jesus, amen. The thing with us is we, uh, we find it hard to keep long-term commitments especially when it comes to serving God. And I'm guilty of this one too. It took me years before I finally said yes to God and stood by him. And for the last, I don't know, a little over 15 years now, maybe close to 20, somewhere around there, I have been serving the Lord. But all the oaths I made growing up, all the promises I made, they were always broken like was described there, and I can't think of one person who hasn't broken that promise to serve God and fall short and find ways of just getting out of it. But I know a lot of people that have been through that, but finally have made the commitment and stick with it with their daily yeses for God in their daily prayers. And God, what he wants from us, he wants us to come to him, to acknowledge, to worship, to praise him, to thank him for the things he gives us that we need to get through each day. So if you're having trouble committing or if, even if you already have committed and you're doing a great job, never forget to thank God daily. And that will start making it easier, especially if you start out your days thanking God for opening your eyes and giving you another day. I always try to add that one first when I get up. And then ask Him to lead me through it and be my strength always try to remember to add those daily and I think it's what helps me stay focused on him 
as well as doing these videos. To be honest, I don't just do them for all of you. It helps me stay in the studies. It helps me stay focused too. So I want to say thank you to all of you who keep me going on this and keep me in the studies and keep me going down the right path. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And stand strong with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with that daily yes. Much love.